So the Lantern Rite has been going on for a little while now, and you get access to choosing one free playable character, assuming you accumulate enough points. Now, if you're anything like myself, you suffer greatly from the inability to make a concise decision when it comes to these things. So I need your help. Who should I go for? Let's talk about it. All right, guys, here we go. So like I said, if you are participating in the Lantern Rite, like myself, I just got to the point where I am able to pick a free character. Now, I never thought this decision would be so difficult because to be honest with you, I never realized that there were this many characters specific to Liwei. The only characters I really knew about were Yujin, uh, Zhongling, Yanfei, and uh, maybe Zing Shou, right? There's a couple a couple of the other characters I didn't know too much about. I only recently got Ning Wong, so the decision is more difficult than ever. In fact, just the other day, I got two Beidos, um, so now I have a C1 Beido. But I'm gonna go eat through each character, I'll let you know what constellations I have, and hopefully maybe you'll decide and help me decide in the comment section which character I should go for. Because to be honest with you, when it comes to this kind of stuff in Genshin Impact, I can never decide. It took me like four days to decide whether I wanted to go for Zhongli or Ganyu. So I'm leaving it to you. You are the deciding factor in terms of who I should go for. So let's get into it. Let's start with Yunjin. Okay, Yunjin is a character that I really have come to enjoy. I'll be honest with you, I have not built her at all as of yet. I think she's a level 40. Um, not really put any, you know, too many artifacts on her, not really done any domains for her, but she's a character that I hope to build in the future. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not counting her out just yet. Uh, I just, there's other characters that I've attained since, since I got a couple of Eugens that I really wanted to focus on a little bit more. But now that we're at the decision and we have to choose, Eugen, I believe, is a C1 uh, character for me. She's C1. I built her uh, quite a bit, you know, a little bit so far in terms of defense, you know, with whatever, you know, the best defense artifacts that I had at the time. Um, but I think she's going to be really good for increasing damage. I plan to use her with someone like uh, maybe Eula or, you know, since she's physical DPS or, you know, any other my other DPS characters, I think Eugen could work well for. Um, so th that that's that's a potential, right? It's a possibility. Um, if I go for her, I would get C2, obviously, C2 Yunjin. Um, and I'm curious what that what that would potentially do. All right, so this is the constellation that I have for Yunjin. Obviously, if we go for her C2, uh, I'll read it here. After Clipbreaker's banner is unleashed, all nearby party members' normal attack damage is increased by 15% per 12 seconds. So I could go for C2 Yunjin. And I mean, this seems to be a nice buff. Uh, anytime you get, you know, increased normal attack damage, I'd say is a major W. So <laughs> that's that. That's for Yunjin. Now let's move on. So moving on to Xenion, I do not have this character at all, which means that I don't have any constellations for her. I don't. I don't own this character at all. Uh, the two characters that I'm missing from this entire eight-person squad is Chung Yung and Xin Yun. Those are the only two characters that I'm missing. And I have never really been, I actually haven't seen a banner as of yet that had Xin Yun in it um, that I wished for. So that's probably why I've missed out on her. And Chung Yung obviously is a character that I could go for. So any of these characters, either of these two would be a great addition to the team. Problem is I have quite a few cryo characters. I have a lot of cryo characters to where I don't know where Chung Yung would even fit in. And then I have a number of pyro characters that I would use far before I think I would use Xing Yan. Um, specifically, Zhang Ling and Yan Fei are just two of them. I also have D Luke. Uh, there's, uh, and the list could go on. I have a couple of pyro characters, so I don't really feel the need to get another pyro character. And yeah, if I'm wrong in that, let me know. Let me know if there if you think these characters are definitely must picks. Um, I would love to hear you out. Moving on to Zing Shou. Now, Zing Shou is a character that I'm very tempted to get uh, to, to get a constellation for, simply because since the Zhongling and Ganyu banners have been out, I have acquired four uh, Zing Shou. So many that I would be tempted to go for a C6 just to have my first C6 character. I think the highest constellation character I have is Toma at C5. Um, so, you know, at a C4 Zing Shou, I haven't tried to, to use this character yet, but I, I feel like the damage is going to be absolutely insane. Plus the fact that I he's the only uh, Hydro character outside of Barber that I have. So there's definitely, there's some, some special treatment there simply because I don't have a lot of Hydro characters. Now let's move on to the, um, let's look at the constellations that I have for him. 
So like I said, for Sing Cho, we have uh, C4, C4 Constellation, okay? So if we go for C5, this would increase the level of Gu Hao Sword Fatal Rain Screen by three. Uh, maximum upgrade level is 15. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I hope someone in the comments will help me uh, help to explain that for me. But yeah, we're close to C5. And if we go for C5, I'd be I'd be interested to wish just to see if I get a C6 Zing Show, which would be uh, activating two of Guhao Sword, Rain Cutter Sword, Rain Attacks greatly enhances the third Sword Rain Attack. So I feel like we could really push some damage here. Really push some damage. We only have two more constellations. And just like I said, the fact that I this is the closest, this is the most constellations that I've ever gotten on a character outside of Toma. So I've gotten really lucky. If I could get two more, this would be this would be great. Uh, but let me know, is this a character I should go for, try to get the C5? Is the C5 worth it in, in an effort to try to get a C6? Or should I just wish and spend my luck and hope that I get lucky? Let me know. You know one thing about me, Zhongling is one of my favorite characters. She was one of the first ones that I wanted to acquire when I first started playing Gidget Impact. Um, and I, when I finally got her, I was like, yes, I'm going to use this character for sure and since then i have not seen uh i have not wished on any banner that had her as a potential four stars which means i have no constellations for her so if i wish for her i would get a c1 uh which would increase the uh the pyro resistance would be reduced which getting the c1 would basically give me the ability that opponents hit by guabo's attacks have their pyro resistance reduced by 15 percent for six seconds this would be great if i wanted to use her ability and then run d luke's ultimate or something like that um, to do even more damage the possibilities are there um, but if you guys don't think that it's worth it given the fact that i don't have any other constellations um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be curious to see. I love Zhongling. Like I said, she's one of my favorite characters. So an opportunity to potentially get a C1 for her is something I would definitely consider. Moving on from there, we have Yan Fei. Yan Fei is a character that I think I've slept on, but I've heard quite a few things about Tank Fei. And since I've been wishing for Zhongli and Ganyu's banner, I have gotten uh, quite a few constellations for this character as well. Similarly to Zing Shou, we have a C4 Yanfei. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, getting a C5 would give us increases the level of done deal by three. Maximum upgrade level is 15. Now, people have uh, talked to me about C5, I think, or C6. I think it was one of them. I think C5 was one that, that I had been told about that said, like, you got to go for this. Go for C5 and she will be an absolute monster but i don't know too much about ting fei i i'm or yan fei i'm trying to build her uh, a little bit at a time as after i finish these other characters i think i'm gonna go for her try to build her up a little bit but let me know is this is is c5 yan fei worth it if so this could be similarly to zing show could these two characters could potentially be well worth it to go for their c5s next up we have the beautiful ning guang now ning guang is a character that i only have a c1 for i believe um and she's a character that i just love i love the look of her and the fact that they're giving you a chance to get a free skin or a custom outfit for her is something that for someone like myself who's all about that fashion makes me want her even more now is ya is ning guang worth getting another constellation for and actually, I'm going to correct myself. I don't have any constellations for Ningguang, a character that I plan to use at some point. Um, I would love to level her up, but with I'm constantly feel like I'm getting access to, to new characters and it's just impossible to build everybody at once. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to work on building her at some point. But right now we don't really have anything. So her constellation C1 would give us when a normal attack hits, it deals AOE damage. Now, I don't know anything about Ningguang, so for my Ningguang experts out there, who, who love her, who swear by Ning Wong as one of their favorite characters, please let me know, is C1 worth it? Last but not least, we have Beto. Now, I have a C C1 Beto, another character that I really haven't used. Uh, so C2 would give us, I think, uh, an interesting ability that I've heard about, I've heard people talk about. And then we have Beto, a character that I really haven't used um, all that much. To be honest with you, I'm still hoping and wishing for Kaching. I would love to get Kaching just because the outfit. Yes, I know that's petty. I do not care. I don't care that she's not that great and that people don't really like her. She doesn't do that great of damage from what I've heard, uh, but I still want her. I think she's a great character. I don't have too many Electro characters outside of my Traveler. And um, I think... Uh official i think there's only two electro characters that i have so getting the access to beto could potentially change the game a little bit uh if i get another constellation for her now like i said i have a c1 beto c1 beto um which obviously increases uh, shield absorbs a 
up to 250 percent more electro damage which could be really good as well if we move her up get her a c2 stormbreaker's arc lightning can jump to two additional targets now like i said i don't know too much about beto so i'm leaning on you let me know is beto c2 worth it um if if not then i potentially could go for someone else but when we look at this list, obviously, it goes without saying that all of these characters are very well renowned. They're very talented, um, and there's a lot of utility with each one of them. Yunjin has utility in terms of increasing damage. Young Ling's one of my favorite characters. Tang Fei is absolutely goaded. Xing Shou, Ning Guang, and the list goes on and on. There's obviously characters. The only character I don't really know that I care too much about is Xing Yan. Um, but every other character, I think, would be absolutely pinnacle in terms of uh, getting a new constellation or something in between. But let me know. You guys are the deciding factor, okay? I'm gonna wait for your responses before I make a decision. Um, I I'm very tempted right now to go for either Zing Show or Yan Fei, given the fact that I already have quite a few constellations for them, and getting that C5 could really change the game. But a C2 Yunjin is also really good, and I don't have any constellations for Zhang Ling. So you guys are the deciding factors. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on this video if you enjoy. I plan to do much more Genshin content over the coming months. Um, I'm trying to catch up on a lot of things. So if you haven't subscribed, do so. I promise it is worth it. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.